The RGW-90, also known as the Matador, is a unique state-of-the-art rocket launcher collaboratively designed by Germany, Israel and Singapore to address a multitude of battlefield threats. The RGW in the weapon's designation represents Recoilless Grenade Weapon. The acronym MATADOR stands for Man Portable Anti Tank Anti Door, aptly describing its dual purpose design and showcasing its versatile operational capabilities. This weapon is affectionately known as the Nutcracker within the Israeli Defense Force, or IDF, which first used it in combat during Operation Cast Lead in 2009. Notably, it plays a significant role in arming the Ukrainian Armed Forces and Volunteer Units. The Matador's tactical importance was underlined in the battles for Mariupol, where its impact on the field was noticeably felt. This is Military Mechanics, and today we will talk about RGW-90 Matador. Historically, the evolution of rocket-propelled infantry weapons was geared primarily towards developing specialized anti-tank weaponry. Nevertheless, past wars and skirmishes worldwide have underscored the increasing necessity for anti-structure potential. This realization led to an international trend among military forces and armed manufacturers towards creating a versatile rocket launcher capable of targeting personnel and structures alike. The Matador distinguishes itself by its lightweight design. Its warhead is notably effective against both armored vehicles and robust structures like brick walls. The launcher measures about 3.3 feet long and weighs around 24.9 pounds when equipped with a laser rangefinder and reflex sight. It can effectively hit targets up to 0.31 miles away. The launcher tube, composed of reinforced fiberglass with polymer fixtures and styrofoam shock absorbers, houses minor steel components like screws and pins and some glass elements in the sights. The weapon is equipped with a telescopic sight mounted on a Picatinny rail. Night vision sights are also an option. A key attribute of the Matador is its wind-resistant projectile, resulting from its advanced propulsion system. This feature enhances the weapon's accuracy significantly. Operating the Matador entails choosing the desired warhead effect, extending the pistol grip, foregrip and shoulder rest, and raising the sight. After aiming and setting the safety to fire, the weapon discharges upon pulling the trigger. The Matador can be safely operated in extreme temperatures from minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to plus 145.4 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the Matador's unique features is its minimal back blast, which ensures safe operation even in tight quarters. The Matador employs a counter mass system to balance the weapon's recoil upon firing. This counter-mass comprises shredded plastic propelled from the weapon's rear when fired, which quickly slows due to air resistance, thus enabling safe firing in enclosed spaces. The Matador can be safely fired in confined spaces as small as 161.5 cubic feet, although hearing protection is recommended. The Matador's unique warhead boasts a selectable shaped charge capability. When the probe is extended, the warhead launches the charge liner into the target as a penetrator capable of breaching thick vehicle armor. With the probe retracted, the warhead mimics a high explosive squash head rounds behavior, spreading out on impact and then detonating. This causes significant damage to solid masonry, concrete or stone walls, creating an opening at least 18 inches wide. Against thinner walls, like those of single-layer brick, the effect generates a large enough breach for a man to traverse. The operator can simply switch between these two settings by extending or retracting the probe. Matador's warhead can penetrate through 19.7 inches of equivalent rolled homogeneous armor. However, the lack of a precursor charge means that it performs poorly against reactive armor. In conclusion, the RGW-90, also known as the Matador, exemplifies the power of international collaboration in evolving military technology. With its dual-purpose functionality and versatility, it holds a significant role in modern warfare. 
Its effective use in critical conflict zones such as Mariupol further underscores its tactical importance and illustrates its potent contribution to the ever-changing dynamics of combat.